Cool. And we're going to drop it down 5mm, which is where we wanted the centre. In this case, I've got the z-axis going the other way, so I'll drop it there. And if I just view that in uh, 2D mode, you can see that quite clearly. We've now got this other cylinder overlaid over the first as a scaffold. We have to move the CCS. And uh, the easiest way to move the CCS is just to give it a new X. We'll hover over here for a while until it's got that quadrant point. Now we've got a Y axis that's on the uh, right axis. It's basically tangential. We want to make this circle 5 mil because that's how big it was. And finally, we're just going to extrude this. I'll just use that point. Then I'll delete the scaffold. And what we have is everything we need. A quick subtract. I'll get the main one, subtract the second one, and we're done. And that's about all there is to it.